Hi everybody, Scott Card here uh, with yet another quick Proteus tip. Today I'd like to show you how to create tented vias and describe one of the situations where you would want these. Okay, uh, so uh, here I have an AT Mega uh, processor. I'm just using this as an example. But uh, when we take a look at the footprint for it, you'll notice that it, it does come, uh, one of, well, one of the options is as a BGA or a ball grid array. And these are fantastic uh, because they, they allow us to get a lot of pins into a very tight package. And it, it's a very professional uh, looking part when you're or bored when you're finished. Uh, but it comes with some issues. And one of them is, is how to how to actually get your traces uh, out from uh, this many pins. And this is not a huge chip, uh, but it is a fairly, fairly compact. And so, uh, for example, if we were to just uh, go into track mode and try to run these traces out uh, with my standard uh, uh, trace here, it's not bad on the outside. Uh, but once we go to the inside, we'll see that we actually start to uh, run into some, some uh, DRC errors uh, because it violates our, uh, our uh, design rules. Okay, so uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at how we would uh, get those traces out. And so what typically happens is we have a via and we would place a via here uh, like so, and we would we would simply connect a trace uh, from from the from the pad uh, to the via, like so. And as you can see, it creates uh, three DRC errors because we're too close to the other pads. Uh, that's the first problem. The second problem is uh, once we once we put a board up here, we can see uh, that uh, we have a situation where our pad is exposed but we, our via is also exposed. So when we go to ball this, uh, the solder is going to want to uh, flow down here into this hole and cause us some grief. So uh, what we would want to do is create something called a tented via. And so this is a via where the solder mask would cover uh, this via up, okay? Uh, the other thing that we need to deal with is how to how to uh, eliminate these uh, DRC errors. So why don't we start with that? Uh, so I'm gonna go in, I'm going to delete this and uh, here we'll just stretch that out a little bit. And so the first thing is that I'm going to go in and I'm going to create myself a, a new design rule. Okay, and this new design rule, I'm going to call, uh, I'm gonna call this uh, tight so that I have something and I'm going to say that I'm I'm going to accept anything down to uh, one thou of uh, clearance between the, the pads between the pad and the trace and between uh, subsequent traces and we'll say that we can apply this to all of the uh, regions okay uh, okay so it already exists but that's okay and so that's fantastic we've created this this uh, this rule and so now I'm going to go down here to my uh, room mode and I'm going to grab uh, the area around, around this IC and I'm going to choose that I have a DRC room uh, here and I will call this one uh, tight as well. And I'll say, okay. And we can see that we've created this room called tight. And when we go back to our design rules here, uh, under tight, uh, we actually have a design rule tight and uh, it's all it's all nicely uh, set up for us. And so that's fantastic. Okay, so if we were to try to place a conventional via in here, uh, you'll see that it does still give us uh, some errors. And the reason why it's going to give us our errors is because of something called the guard gap. And you'll notice that it is actually protruding over and touching uh, these these traces. Uh, so that's creating a, a, another a DRC error, but, um, and we can see that here if we click on our DRC errors, uh, that we're actually just a little bit close 
uh, to our specified uh, size. Okay, so I guess it's not really the guard gap as much as it's just, it's within that one thousandth of an inch. And so as you can see, things are, things are quite tight. And so uh, what we would need to do is create another, uh, another uh, via style. Okay. And so you can see that I have already created a whole bunch of them here that I've called a TV for tented vias, uh, but I'll, I'll walk you through creating a new one. So this one I'm going to create uh, here. I'm going to create a, a new one and I'm going to call this uh, TV for my tented vias. And you'll notice that I have a, a 0 0.3 millimeter. And that's because the board houses really like to have that 0.3 millimeter as their minimum. And so I'll say, okay, and we can go ahead and make the sizes. So in this case, I want the drill hole to be 0.3 of a millimeter. So a 0 0.3 mm okay uh, the drill mark uh, will bring this down to five thousandths of an inch and the outside i, I want to keep the the ring a little bit on the small side i'm going to go with uh 12 thou uh, and we'll see how that looks so here's our our new via uh, tv uh, point three and uh, we can see that it's something's not quite right so we're going to go back in and edit this um, point three drill mark, uh, we'll bring the diameter up to uh, 20 thou just to take a look at it. Okay. So that's a little bit big. Let's, uh, bring that back down. Okay. And it seems to be happy there. And so here we'll just run a trace over so we can see this. Perfect. And the idea would be that we would uh, drop in multiples of these and possibly even uh, save this as a fan out. And I will post another video in a little while of how to create a project clip of our fan out. Uh, and, uh, you know, you don't have to do this uh, for every one. You could go in and replicate it. Uh, but we're just going to call that good enough for now. Let's take a look. Uh, what it looks like here in 3D. And um, notice that it still hasn't put our, our uh, tenting in back in. And we'll edit this one more time because what I forgot to do was to take the guard gap and say not present. And so now this whole, this whole, um, all of the, the, the style, this style should be updated. All right. And so there we go. Fantastic. And so now once we do our, our, our balling on here, we'll be able to uh, place the chip on it and throw it into the reflow oven and it should settle itself in quite nicely. Uh, this is, I believe, just a graphical error. It shouldn't really be a space like that. But uh, in a nutshell, that's, uh, that's how to create a tented via. All right. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, do subscribe if you'd like to be kept up to date on uh, this this type of video from, from my channel. And uh, do check out the other playlists. All right. Thanks and have yourself a great day. Bye now.